Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This is episode 49. I'm Xenogeno Matt. Last yes. time, we got to the Makanis capital of Agniritha, but instead of continuing it on, I wanted to run a couple side quests real quick, starting with this guy's our court. I've really got a lot on my mind. Can you guess what it's about? It's my girlfriend. It's her job to keep watch over Makanis Field. She works there full time, so we've got this long distance thing going. And with me being scared of heights, I can't go and see her. I'm worried she might forget about me if we stay apart any longer. I know how painful it feels to be separated from someone. Is there anything we can do? I want to help in any way I can. Thanks for the thought, but what I need might be pretty difficult to do. I won't know if you don't tell me. What is it? Okay, I'll tell you. I don't want her to forget about me. I came up with this idea to give her a present. I'm sure a treasure called the Tear of the Sky will make an impression, but you can only get, find it on distant fingertip. There's no way I can go up there. I'm terrified of heights. So the reason I started this during a thunderstorm is because specifically during a thunderstorm on the f distant fingertip, you can find the Tear of the Sky also to rainbow slugs to repair colony six i think that's actually relatively hard to find those rainbow slugs at any rate we got the tier of the sky so let's head back down and talk to zarkort we could find him just north of the or just i guess this is west of the distant two di <laughs> digit two plane what is that there's something over here I guess I'll find that out later. But yeah, the reason I wanted to do these is these are timed quests that will be expiring relatively soon. So it's good to get these out of the way. I'll go further into detail as we get closer yes. to that. There's no way she'll forget me if I give her this. You lot are amazing. You really climbed all the way up there? There's no way I could have done that. And as a token of appreciation, he'll give us... Alkion bottom... Alkion... I don't know how to say that word. I should probably look that up. And he's got another quest. Hey there, could I ask you to do me one more favor? It's about the tear of the sky you got for me. There's no way I can go all the way up there to give it to her. She's at McConnell's Field, way over there in the distance. You know what I'm gonna ask, right? I think I figured it out, but wouldn't it be better for you to give it to her yourself? It's not just the present itself that's important, it's the thought. I understand where you're coming from, I think the same thing. But I just can't do it. It makes me dizzy just thinking about it. We hope we can help with the last part, we've already come this far. Thank you, I know you're asking, I know asking you, you to do it doesn't make me look very good. And we'll take it to him. Take it to her. And her name is Bazatrox. We've actually already met her. I don't know where in Makana's field she is. There's a look the lookout's base is confidential, so she's not allowed to tell me. It's called the Makina Refuge. It may be dis difficult to find. Let's see. Here it is. one fast travel later and here we are and there's bother trucks a present from Zarkort what could it be wow it's beautiful is it a tear of the sky I can't believe it I'll treasure it always but how did he get it there's no way he could go up to the distant fingertip never mind it's the thought that's important could you thank him for me and tell him I can't go back yet the mechon have been more active lately so I can't leave And we got the word that I can't pronounce top. And Bozatrox has a quest for us now. I really want to thank you. You came all the way here to find me and bring Z Zarkort's present. I want to I wanna make you a pair of my special boots, but I might have to give up on that idea. I've just made a pair for Zarkort. I used up all the materials I had with me, and I can't leave here to go and find more. Your special boots? You can really make boots? That's quite a good hobby. I like to think so. 
I sometimes make boots as well, but Hom's ones. I'd be interested in knowing how to make Machina boots. I'm pretty sure I can make boots that would fit you. I look forward to seeing them. We can find the materials. All I need are reinforced jets and reinforced plungers. And we already have both of those. Great. I feel strange about you collecting the materials for your own gift. But I guarantee you're gonna love the boots. Me. Have you got the materials? Great. Could you hold on a bit? They'll be ready soon. All done. This should be a perfect fit. I hope they come in useful. I'm going back to the village soon. I'll get a replacement, so I'll probably be working down there. I can't wait to seize our court. It's been a while since we met. Quick step five. And I'll level up for Dunban. Also, I will harvest these fire crystals while I'm here. Don't mind if I do. Now there's one last quest that I want, and it's over at Junks. Right in here, yes. the Xylix. How could that have happened? There were some; those were some of the most important memories. Do you think you can hear me out this one last time? I was going through the memories you retrieved for us, and I realized that some of the most important ones were missing. Those memories can't be restored, but there is a separate backup. I know it's rude of me to ask, but could you find the backup? We must finish what we started. I too am somewhat interested in your people. The backup is a single chip, so there's less to find than before, but doing so may be more difficult. Even so, will you do it? In the judicial... judicial... Judicial District of Agniritha. Okay. My gratitude to you is all to you all is securely stored within my memory. <laughs> okay. Before we continue on, I'd like to point out the quest that will be expiring soon. So starting here, the history of Makanis and the history of the capital from the falling arm will soon be expiring. For my loved one, to my loved one, which is the two that we just did involving Zarkort and Bazatrox, those will be expiring. Going on to Makanis Field, Best Boots, Monster Quest, Challenge Quest 1, and Challenge Quest 2 will soon be expiring. And I think that's it. And then I still have all these in Agniritha to do. These... It, it's better to do those sooner than later. I usually do them before activating the four pillars in Agniritha. Speaking of which, now we'll be continuing on through Agniritha. I thought those were some collectibles. Go after any collectible you can get. Uh, more often than not, the outstanding quests that you'll have will be collectible related. Grape Springs. You need six Grape Springs for Agniritha Beautification 2. And those can be really annoying to try to find. Especially if you've already completed all other quests and you're just kind of waiting around for collectibles to respawn. Or turning the game off and on again. It's better just to grab any collectibles you see and hope you get lucky. Got an M56 Union. And this is the Residential District 2. I could probably replace Sharla. I just had Sharla in my in my party because she commented on the Best Boots quest. Why are we going after them? Alright, good luck, Fiora. I'll be seeing ya. Ah, yes. Certainly looking at her magnificent footwork from all the way over here as I'm fighting an enemy with my back to Fiora. I'll just finish this guy. There we go. Fiora's got 
a couple double attack gems on her, including double attack 4 and double attack 5. Your days are useless. Oh, I was hoping I could get the other mech on from there. Okay. Oh, an M37 Eager. That's also on the list of things to hunt. M68 Miser. Okay. I'll probably replace Charlotte with Ryan after, or maybe I should... I might try out Ricky. I feel like he hasn't gotten much action. There we go. M67 Haste, I didn't even realize he was different than the Miser. I guess there's all different types. Which one is the one with the... Are these both haste? Okay, yeah, they're both haste. We need five of those for that side quest. Let's try Ricky. Blue light amp. Bellflower crystal. Let's take out this haste. Let's see how Ricky performs. Okay. Alright, here we go. So happy happy is pretty convenient. How does Ricky perform in a chain attack? Ooh, he's not the best for damage. I think I still prefer Ryan, at least for a DPS unit. Ricky kind of finds his edge in a ether based team of Ricky, Sharla, Melia. So he'll have his day sometime. But now is not that time. I'll stick with Ryan. M56 Union. Alright. Now let's see how fast this team tears up these two. Toppled already. Oh my gosh. That was fast. I'm not even using any auras. I got you, Ryan. Tempest Kick. Okay, so this is Residential District 2. Here's one of the four pillars. I might as well activate it while I'm here. Calco's Pillar. So guarding each pillar will be an M68 Miser. Actually, maybe. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if these smaller enemies, but there is an enemy directly above us that I will be aggroing in about three seconds. I have just aggroed it, so it'll be coming down the stairs any second now to come and fight me. Any second now. Maybe it can't fit down the stairs. I didn't mean to activate Serene Heart. I'm in no danger of- There he is! A mass-produced face. I 
Good to see you again, Zord looking dude. Let's see if we can topple him. Yep. Guess I'll just daze him. Double daze. Yeah, he's not getting back up. Bloodstained face. Yikes. I believe that was also like a Machina Staff 3, so that's pretty rare. So he was hanging out on this second level here. And at the very top, the first control platform. Look at that guy cruising down there. Okay, bye Ryan. Here's the Telethia that we can take a sample from. Or investigate. Offensive Brave and M55 Dread. Might as well. I'll just take out this M55 Dread in one shot. Maybe not. He's got some defense. It's actually pretty surprising. This 55 Dread had a lot more defense than I was thinking he would. But this offensive Brave is going down. A vision. A sliding sword five on Rhine. There's no way he's gonna get that off yet. <laughs> so much for even getting that off. Exterminator Ember, level 65. Hmm. I'll take these three. Okay. This guy has a lot less defense than the last one I just faced. Spear blade, sword drive. Yeah, they're almost done. Break and move on. Worldly Slash. Let's grant haste with Spirit Breath. He's trying to run. Alright, four out of six dreads. Let's see what's through here. A lot of exclamation points up ahead. Sacre Vagabond Aloser. Alright, let's attract them from a distance. I don't want to get into a confrontation with that thing if I can avoid it. Okay, so we got Vagabond Aliser. Aliker, either one. Steel Strike. There we go. Tempest Kick. And that'll trigger a chain attack. Let's just keep this thing down. And dazed. And down. Blossom dance Keep it toppled. Wow, this thing is... It may not get up. Okay, it got up. No, it didn't. It didn't even get a chance to get up. 
Light heal, wow. Okay, I use that. Neat. Sunban's got a lot. I gotta spend my AP. I'll take another Grape Spring. M97 Cycle. At least with a lot of these Agnirith side quests, you're gonna be fighting most of the enemies that you meet along the way anyway. So most often by the time that you touch the fourth pedestal, you already have all of the enemy quests done. The main annoyance is like the Grape Spring. <laughs> oh, I missed the uh, crystals. That'll come in handy. Only two. I might end up cutting out most of these quests. They're very... All of them are pretty generic. I'll try to keep in the... The enemy quests. Okay, here we go. Here's a new enemy. Exterminator Ember. I'll go with Serene Heart, because it seems like he can actually hit me. There we go. We got him. Oh, no. Oh, no, baby. He's got a top of spa Spike. Okay. I think we got him. Oh, uh, yeah, gun runs too. Sword drive. And I think I can finish with worldly slash. Okay, looks like he's dropping something that we want. Advanced core? Maybe not. And 36 Saker, and a what? Experienced Tristan. Oh no. He's got experience. I'll just take out that Saker. Let's see if we can take out Saker. Or Tristan. Can we topple him? We cannot top. Or we do topple him. Okay, cool. I probably should not have used this Blossom Dance. I didn't realize how close I was to a chain attack. Um, Kale Slash. Hopefully that'll get him onto Rhine. It did not. Top one. Okay, we got him locked. And that'll do it. Offensive Brave, we could take him. This should be quick. Steel Strike does a good amount of damage. And done. Gallant Hero. That's the last of Dunban's skills. Critical Drain restores HP when dealing a critical hit. That's huge, actually. Oh. And while I'm on Dunban skill trees, I want to improve agility. Here's another mass-produced face. And there's even a another layer of enemies. The Hellas Pillar. There we go. Let's get all the enemies pissed off at me. I can take them. Oh my goodness. I think that was gun drones. Spear Blade. Sword Drive. Oh. I wanted to do a times four 
Blossom Dance. I'll just settle for decreasing his defense and then Blossom Dancing. Oh my gosh, there's there's kind of a lot of enemies. I didn't realize how many there were. Oh no. Fiora's having a hard time. Okay, gun drones. This should be good. Oh my gosh. M87 Grand. I think he might be all that's left. Okay, now there's two more. I didn't realize we had a chain attack already. Oh, done. Ryan's in trouble. But that's it for the Grand, so we're good there. What happened to the other Dread? Did he, like, fall down? And that should be it. That's a quest completed. New part L. Okay. I'm gonna activate this second control platform. And... Can I... I can't jump there? Can I jump onto the ledge and walk up? Nope, okay. That's disappointing. There's something I need there. Anyway. I guess that's it for this episode. Next time, we'll continue getting the other two pillars. Alright, see you then. Ryan was about to fall there. That would have been something, I guess. Hmm. <laughs>